Hello, Book Foxes! Welcome back to it the Book Fox Summaries, keeping books simplified for your busy life, one summary at a time. Today, we're exploring a fiction, horror, gothic masterpiece from 1818 with more than 13,000 editions that has captured readers' imaginations for over two centuries, Mary Shelley's Frankenstein. Frankenstein begins with a series of letters from Captain Robert Walton to his sister, Margaret Walton Saville. These letters set the stage for the unfolding drama, providing a glimpse into Walton's ambitious and perilous journey. Walton is on an ambitious expedition to the North Pole, driven by a thirst for discovery and adventure. During this treacherous journey he encounters a man stranded on the ice, Victor Frankenstein, who is in a dire state. As he recovers on Walton's ship Victor begins to tell his harrowing tale. Under the dim light of lanterns on the ship's deck, Victor recounts the events that led him to this frozen wasteland. His story is one of ambition, creation, and the dire consequences that followed. Walton listens intently, captivated by the tragic and cautionary tale that unfolds before him. The letters from Walton to his sister not only document his own journey, but also serve as a conduit for Victor's chilling narrative, bridging the gap between two ambitious men and their intertwined fates. Victor recounts his idyllic childhood in Geneva, Switzerland, a place where the serene landscapes and tranquil environment shaped his early years. The picturesque Swiss village with its rolling hills and clear blue lakes provided a perfect backdrop for his formative experiences. He was surrounded by a loving family who nurtured his curiosity and encouraged his intellectual pursuits. Family gatherings were filled with joy and laughter, creating a strong foundation of support and affection that would stay with him throughout his life. From a young age Victor was fascinated by the mysteries of the natural world. His curiosity knew no bounds, and he spent countless hours exploring and experimenting. This passion for discovery led him to pursue studies at the University of Ingolstadt, where he hoped to unlock the secrets of the universe. At the University of Ingolstadt, Victor immersed himself in his studies, delving deep into the realms of science and philosophy. The campus, with its grand buildings and state-of-the-art laboratories, became his second home. It was here that his obsession with uncovering the secret of life began to take hold. This obsession, however, would lead him down a dark and dangerous path. As he pushed the boundaries of scientific knowledge, he found himself venturing into uncharted and perilous territories. The pursuit of his ambitions would come at a great cost, setting the stage for the tumultuous events that would follow. Victor spends months in isolation, feverishly working on his experiment. One fateful night, he succeeds in bringing a creature to life. However, the moment the creature opens its eyes, Victor is horrified by its grotesque appearance and abandons it. Overcome with guilt and fear, Victor falls into a deep depression. The story then shifts to the creature's perspective. Abandoned and alone, it struggles to survive in a hostile world. The creature finds solace observing a family, the de Lacy's, and learns to speak and read. Despite its intelligence and yearning for connection, the creature faces constant rejection and scorn. Desperate for companionship, the creature demands Victor create a female counterpart. Victor agrees but fearing the consequences destroys the unfinished creation. Enraged, the creature vows revenge leading to a tragic series of events. It kills Victor's best friend Henry Clerval and on his wedding night Victor's bride Elizabeth. Grief-stricken and seeking retribution, Victor chases the creature to the Arctic. It is here that Walton and his crew find Victor. In Walton's letters, he describes Victor's death and the creature's final appearance on the ship. The creature mourns over Victor's body, expressing deep remorse for its actions. It reveals to Walton its intention to end its own life by setting itself on fire in the Arctic wilderness, ensuring that no one else will repeat Victor's tragic mistakes. Frankenstein is more than a tale of horror. It's a profound exploration of ambition, isolation, and the ethical responsibilities of creation. Mary Shelley's novel delves deep into the human psyche, examining the consequences of our actions and the moral dilemmas we face. The story is not just about a monster, but about the monstrous nature of unchecked ambition. Victor Frankenstein's relentless pursuit of knowledge and his desire to transcend human limitations lead him down a dark and dangerous path. His creation, often referred to as the creature, symbolizes the unintended consequences of playing God. Mary Shelley's novel warns us about the dangers of unchecked scientific ambition. In an age where science and technology are advancing at an unprecedented rate, Frankenstein serves as a cautionary tale. It reminds us that with great power comes great responsibility and that our actions can have far-reaching and unforeseen consequences. The novel also explores themes of isolation and loneliness, 
Both Victor and his creation suffer from profound isolation. Victor isolates himself from his family and friends in his obsessive quest for knowledge, while the creature is shunned and rejected by society because of his appearance. This isolation leads to tragic outcomes for both characters, highlighting the importance of human connection and empathy. It's a timeless story that continues to resonate with readers today. The ethical questions it raises about scientific experimentation, the nature of humanity and the consequences of our actions are as relevant now as they were when the novel was first published in 1818. Mary Shelley's Frankenstein challenges us to reflect on our own values and the impact of our choices. Thank you for joining us on this journey through Frankenstein. We hope this summary has given you a deeper understanding of the novel's themes and its enduring significance. Whether you're a longtime fan of the book or discovering it for the first time, there's always something new to uncover in its pages. Before we go, we ask for your help. Please subscribe to our channel. Let us know in the comments what book you'd like us to cover next. We love hearing your suggestions and look forward to diving into more literary classics with you. Hit the like button, share with friends, and turn on notifications to stay in the loop. See you next time.